Oh man, that was one heck of a party. Note to self, do not drink with Black Rowan again. Anyway, what's cracking with you people? Announce here and welcome back to the Jade Empire in the last one. We restored Dirge, the Water Dragon, and got our life back. In this one, we begin our journey of revenge to defeat our old master, Sun Li. You live, but the portal was not sealed quickly enough. Defeat the maddened creatures that have followed you, or your life will once again be undone. And before we can even say, even even get you get used to our new body, we have to defeat more enemies. Now, luckily for us, these enemies are not actually as tough as they um as they once were. As you can see, we're beating them pretty quickly. But I believe it's also what the gun is. So you're gonna have to deal with quite a number of them. You're also not getting immolated. So they're not as powerful as they usually are. And I don't believe you're actually getting experience from them. I think you're just kind of beating them. Do you get spears? Let's see. No, there's, there's a spear, so. So your goal here is to defeat this. Seek your fellows. They know about your awakening and are on their way to the shelter of Dirge. Hurry. Others will find you soon enough. Oh dear. But yeah, you want to defeat the uh, light in the center, not attack the not attack the, not have the horse demons. They're just a distraction. But yeah. So now we got to go kill the body of the water of the water dragon and defeat Sun Li. Is also hinted at that if we bring Dawnstar, or at least let him know Dawnstar lives, it might help to beat him uh, more easily. Now, these decaying bones. 20 years, they should have been decayed. But it is cold up here, so who knows. Replenishment of the mind. Ooh, what's this? Another new skill? Replenishment of the mind. Plus 7 focus, plus 7 to chi. These techniques of the ancient spirit monks teach how to enhance the mind by focusing one's chi. By focusing on the ebb and flow of one's chi, one can strengthen one's mind and gain greater mastery over one's chi. I also need to focus too. And would you look at this? Is a is a uh, is a statue to the heavenly gate guardian Chai Ka. A huge shrine dedicated to the heavenly gate guardian stand here. The order of demons to which Chaika belongs. Gate guardians protect the border between the worlds. Meditate in front of the statue. Your meditations leave you feeling more focused. So you gain focus from there. Got some bones here to loot. A hundred silver. Pages from the Tome of Release. Okay, is this a plot important item? So many of the pages from this tome are missing that it's impossible to tell what, what what purpose it served or what mysteries it held when it was complete. Okay, so I wonder if you can find more of these. I don't remember I don't remember these. A book stand. Mantra of Inspiration. An ancient text penned by some of the first spirit monks. This book has taught you how to properly focus upon the mantra of inspiration. Understanding the totality of being is the only goal worth achieving, and yet it is a goal that cannot be fulfilled in any life. Still, in the stri inner striving can be found deep inspirations, and those can aid you in your search. In this paradox, the never-ending journey is made possible. Think upon what you have read here, and take your lessons to the meditation wheels of divine harmony in the temple's hallway. They will help you to find the next step upon the enemy path. Mantra of inspiration. I don't know. Is that an actual like technique? No. So I think you have to go. You have to go. You have to go. Where does it say go? It says go to the. It says go to the. To the meditation wheels of divine harmony in the temple's hallway. Okay. Well, I guess we find that statue of Ma Sung. 
This ring is dedicated to Ma Sun, the water source, one of the first spirit monks. Meditating by this tribe. As you clear your thoughts and contemplation with the spirit monk, you feel calmer. So, the the uh, gate gardens restore your focus, and the and Ma Sun restores your spirit and your health. So there you go. Anything here, no book stand. The journal of Abbot Song. There is dis there is something disturbing in the air tonight. I cannot be sure of my suspicions, but I wonder at the behavior of some of the younger monks. They seem nervous, like something's about to happen. Not long ago, I spotted one of them leaving the well below from ah. Not long ago, I spotted one of them leaving the well room off the temple, and when I asked why she was down there, she could produce no reason that satisfied my fears. The look she gave me when I assigned her extra chores as penance for being distracted from her duties chilled my heart. It was filled with such menace. Could some of the younger acolytes have discovered the secret path at the bottom of the well? Are they leaving our monastery without my permission? To what end? Troubling questions that will have to wait until tomorrow to answer. And as we all know, the next day, well, it all came to an end. And here's the pedestal upon which the amulet rested. Such a nice attention to detail. Like we see the crack in the floor from where Sun Hai first unleashed his power, his recently obtained power upon his brothers. We see, well, just a lot of destruction all around. You know, it's give it hand it to Bioware, they know what they were doing when they made this. Now then. And here is the way down. Here is the way out. Here's the way they took the escape. Well lid. You're certain this well cover blocks the escape route your guardian used when you were an infant. But you can't seem to open it. The secret must have died with the spirit monks. You cannot open this. At least, as far as I know, you can't. You can interact with it, but you cannot open it. Machine cogs. Interesting. 200 silver. Now, you might actually be able to open this, but I have never been able to do it. So we'll see if we can't figure it out uh, in this trip. Okay, so we'll have to leave, it, leave this where it is. But yeah, no, we, yeah, this is this is where they took. It was a hidden will to get out. Now, are these the meditation wheels they're talking about, or is it something else I'm going to look for? Meditation wheels. These meditation wheels have seen better days. While the wheels themselves aren't damaged, it looks like there was a complicated system of gearing that connected them. At some point, possibly after the Emperor's men took dirt, the mechanism was dismantled. Several parts are missing. Examine the wheel mechanism. Most of the wheels are undamaged, but many parts of the mechanism that are connected. Uh, most of the wheels are undamaged, but many parts of the mechanism that connected them have been removed or damaged. You can see where the cogs you found would fit in the wheel's mechanism. Uh, try to repair the try to repair the wheels with the cogs you found. Using the cogs you found earlier, you can partially repair the gearing that connects the wheels. From the looks of it. Three of them should spin freely now. The meditation wheels rest here quietly. Thanks to your repairs, three of them will spin again. Okay, the repair meditation the repair, the repair wheels spin smoothly and almost noiselessly. Such wheels often help focus the mind during meditation. Meditate upon the mantra of inspiration. You feel a sense of calm as you meditate, listening to the water of the dragon font and the quiet revelations of the wheel. You feel concentrated, though something tells you that the effect would have been stronger if you prepared more of the wheels. After a few moments, something in the mechanism gives way. The wheels abruptly stop spinning, and you doubt you'll be able to repair them again. So, this is what you get if you did you just repair what you have now. I'm gonna reload, and I'm gonna sh and we're gonna definitely com fully complete it. You get the um. Communion of the Ocean, plus in the Chi. The spirit monks have long used the meditation wheels lighting the entryway of Durga's inner temple to aid the meditations. Three of the wheels spun freely during your meditations, and your spirit, your spirit feels more in tune with your heritage as a result. So we're going to reload and go from there. And we're back. Now, as you can tell, only three spun freely. 
but we want to see if we can find all of the cogs for us, all the machine parts, and then come back to this. So we'll hold off for a second. Spirit fonts, and now the storms are cleared. It's the sun shines bright over dirge once again, and you can actually see it for what it actually is. So now we want to go around. So many are gone, but not all. What did we do to deserve this curse? Must we fight for all eternity? You did this, spirit monk. We will not rest until your kind are wiped out. You know, it might have something to do with this. I'm just, I'm just saying. But yeah, as you can tell, as you can tell, we're at a point now to where our abilities are so overpowered that we can pretty much just beat these guys in one combo. That is how strong we are. Chapter 6 Wherein our friends return to the living, Dirge is under siege once more, and the fate of Death's hand is sealed. Restoring the fountains of Dirge has allowed the Water Dragon to grant you a second chance at life. Your followers now rush to be at your side, but Sun Lee also moves. He knows the threat of a spirit monk poses. Uh, my bad, he knows the threat of a spirit monk poses. Here at the ruins of Dirge, history will repeat itself in spectacular fashion. And yeah, so before we do that, we want to go ahead and take a look around. We found ooh, pages we see pages from the tome of so we lost the pages from the tome of release from one of five, but we gained the release two of five. Is that what was supposed to happen? From the scattered pages you have recovered, this tome seems to outline some sort of ritual. While the ritual deals with curses of some sort, it's hard to make out exactly what effect it might have if performed. Okay, so let's take another look around. Yeah, we are so powerful we can literally one-shot these guys. That's how strong you are at this point. And if you remember, um... The water dragon pretty much, pretty much burnt the uh, souls of the soldiers uh, once you got a power back, and you know guided the spirit monks into the afterlife. But not all the um three or five. But not all the soldiers. Uh, not all of them left. Now then, you seem to have roughly half of the missing sections from this ancient book. From what you can piece together, the tome of release details a ritual that can free spirits bound to a place by a curse or other magic. If what you read is correct, this ritual might be enough to disperse the ghosts of the last Imperial Army soldiers still trapped in Dirge. You need to find additional sections of the tome to be sure, though. Okay, so we gotta find we gotta find two more pages. Well, so far, we found them on you know the dead, so let's keep looking around so you can find any more dead lying around. Should it be hard considering that we're in, you know, this is one gigantic graveyard. Um, let's go this way. Right over here. So let's just keep it pushing. Look it over here in this corner. Anything in it? No. Hmm. Interesting. I kind of wonder if one of these, one of these places would have been like the house that your family would have lived in if uh, things hadn't gone food bar. Um, no, nope, can't go over there. Ooh, a spirit font that we don't need right now. Now, we could hang a right, or we could go straight. And here are the 13. Excuse me, sir, I am not in the mood for you. 
There we go. More bones. The Veveled Cog. The Bevel Cogs. Pages from the Tome of Release 4 5. Now, what does it say? You almost have all the missing sections of the Tome of Release, and except for a few key elements, you could almost perform the ritual outline within. Doing so would clearly free the spirits of the last few Imperial Army soldiers who taunt Dirge. This section of the Tome makes it clear that the ritual must be performed at the shrine dedicated to Ma Sung, the water source. One of the first spirit monks, elevated to heavens for his tireless service to the water dragon, his influence is said to guide the invoked magic. Now we could go to this now, but we still need one more. Let's go to the inner courtyard. Oh, the door is locked. We must gather your party before venturing forth. So, let's go talk to our people. As before we do that, let's go check the cogs. I want to see if we have enough yet. Well... Yeah, I'm gonna go check the. Mm, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and check the cogs. I want to see if I actually have enough to do this, because I'm honestly not a hundred percent certain. We basically want to wait till until all of them are free. Uh, all of the um, uh, wheels are free. So, just want to take another look around. Just want to be doubly certain because I don't want to don't want to mess this up. Okay. Let's examine the. Let's try to repair the wheels of the cogs you found. Using both of the cogs to do the do your repair to repair five of the wheels. The damage to the other three wheels is more extensive than you can repair, and you doubt you can restore the system any more than you have. The meditation was rest here quietly. Thanks to your repairs, five of them will spend again. You think that repairing the others could take months? Let's leave the wheels alone for right now. We're going to go ahead and hop one more save. Because you never know at this point. Sometimes they're tricksy like that. Let's spin the meditation wheels. The repaired wheels spin smoothly and almost noiselessly. Such wheels often help focus the mind and body. Meditate upon the mantra of inspiration. You feel a sense of calm. You feel a sense of relaxed. You are certain you have gained all you can from meditating with these wheels. At those few moments, something like this steals away, the wheels abruptly stop spinning, and you doubt you'll be able to repair them again. The communion of the dragon. This is what we want. Plus 5 to health, plus 15 to chi. With 5 of the ancient meditation wheels of dirt spinning, as you, medit as you meditated, you soon realize that the amulet, the wheels, were merely a training tool. You feel closer. You, you realize that, like the amulet, the wheels were merely a training tool. You feel closer to understanding the nature of the water dragon. Uh, oh, you feel closer to understanding the nature of the water dragon than before. And with that understanding comes power. How you choose to use it remains to be seen. All right. So now let's go talk to our party because I think the last of the bones might actually be where they're camped out. So, let's take a look, because we need need these to, in order to perform the ritual. And I don't want to do it without the last one, if it can be avoided. So I will admit, I've never actually done this one, so we'll see what happens. The 13 monks. One of which is missing his head. Ooh, a tent! I can't go into the tent. Hello, everybody! You are here! Alive! We... We thought you were dead, and then I had visions of the strangest things. Dawnstar guided us to this place, but I expected a ghost, not flesh and blood. <laughs> I came back because of you, Dawnstar, or the water dragon returned me to life. Oh! You walk in the parks of many gods. I will build something extra large to explode with my surprise. You must be of great standing in the eyes of the heavens. Mortals are not returned from beyond in their own form. It weakened her greatly. I must try to set things right. 
Such creatures are not accustomed to needing assistance or being called on to assist. Both circumstances would likely annoy them. As annoyances go, I think ours is more pressing. Or have you all forgotten the entire army of the Aberrant? I should have respected my return would not go unnoticed. Dawn Star was not the only one aware of your return to life. Assaulting the spirit realm has alerted Sun Li. Your former master, my uncle, has taken the Jade Empire as his own. Emperor Sun Li has set the whole of his forces against us, and we are trapped here in Dirge. Why would he set the whole army against us? Well, better yet, what happened after I fell to him? After you defeated my... my father, and Lee struck you down, he claimed both your amulet and the heart of the water dragon and announced that his rule had begun. The Lotus Assassins were his almost immediately. Your amulet must have allowed him to quickly do what it took my father years to accomplish. The Water Dragon told me it was a powerful focusing tool. We had no choice but to flee. In the days after, the new Emperor did not seem overly concerned with capturing us, and we did not know where to go. He didn't consider us a threat. We had no way of fighting him. Just as with Sun High, only a spirit monk can face him with hope of success. That's why we came here. Dawnstar's vision seemed impossible, but any hope was better than none. Unfortunately, Emperor Sun Li sensed your stirrings in the spirit realm as well, and now we are trapped. There is no way of avoiding them? Sneaking? Flight? Only one path is passable by foot, and that is the route they are coming up. We cannot sneak past such a horde. My marvelous dragonfly will not survive the passage either. The winds force a certain path, and the army's flyers are guarding it well. But that is our luck, as well as our sorrow. Their inferior flyers can barely stay aloft in such currents. They will not overrun us from the air, at least not in numbers. Then we will raise our defense here and come what may. We have a little time. They are still at the base of the mountain. I'd say the main force won't be here until tomorrow. We will start securing the temple. The great gates of this place will grant us some valuable time. At least they will not take us by surprise. Fortifications? Hmm. Perhaps I will remove some of the ordnance from the marvelous dragonfly. Properly applied, it may prove useful tomorrow. Come, Whirlwind. I need your muscle. That's the Black Whirlwind. And as long as it makes the coming fight more interesting, I'll lift whatever you want. That is... That is all we can do to save ourselves today, but there was more that you learned in the spirit realm, wasn't there? I can tell. There was something. It's about you and Master Lee. I saw hope in my vision that led us to you, but there was also something I didn't want to believe. I didn't tell the others. Can it be true? Am I really Master Lee's daughter? What? Laughable! I see why you didn't tell us. That is ridiculous. It is no more outlandish than half the things I have seen in your company. She is of the right age. Lots of children are born every day. I was born at that time. If you don't count this latest rebirth, so is our friend here. But I was named for the fires of Dirge. Hui said as much, and it seems obvious now. The red glow opposite the morning sun was the temple burning. So what if it was? It could have been visible across the Empire. The burning temple was only visible from the palace. No, the water dragon says otherwise. Only from the palace. But that's not... That would make her... A cousin, a princess, a rival? You be quiet. This is not amusing. Perhaps this will restore Master Lee's good side. You still seek to redeem your master even after what he did to you? Clearly you are beyond reason. 
fine. Believe what you wish. Does anyone care how I feel about this? Well, of course, Donthar. What should we do about this? I... I am unsure what this really means. But we must tell Master Lee and try to appeal to his sense of decency. This could lift so much pain from his heart. You are both crazy. I'll go along with it if it helps us in the end, but I'll need more proof to believe it, and I expect Sun Lee will too. We have to survive the coming attack before anyone is told anything. We've done all we can for now. Tomorrow we'll decide our fates. So much has happened. Please, when the others have left, we should have a moment together. When you are ready, go to your tent to retire for the night. So basically, this is your last prompt to do whatever you need to do. So let me come out here. Pages from the Tome of Release 5 of 5. Now. Now that you have read the fully assembled Tome of Release, you know how to perform a ritual that would lift the curse from the spirits of the last few Imperial Army soldiers who still haunt Nurge. The ritual must be performed at the shrine dedicated to Ma Sung, the water source, one of the first spirit monks, elevated to the heavens for his tireless service to the water dragon. His influence is said to guide the invoked magic. The last section you found, however, warns that performing the ritual at a shrine dedicated to a heavenly gate guardian will summon the wrath of one of these beings. The cursed souls affected by such a ritual will be forever torn from the wheel of life. Their spiritual en energies would be scattered to the winds, and might even affect the monk performing the ritual in some dark way. This, as far as I can tell, is one final. Uh, well, I won't say one final, but it is one of the last few acts Imperial Captain goes. So this is new. What kind of armor is he wearing? Now he's actually got he's actually kind of tough, if, if a little bit slow. But yeah, this is one of, one of the last few uh, open palm or closed fist um, actions you can perform. One of the last few. As you heard, if you perform this ritual at the sh at one of the Shrine of the Heavenly Gate Guardians, it will destroy and scatter the essence of the remaining ghost to the wind. But if you perform this at the uh, Shrine of uh, Ma Sung, then you will effectively do your duty as a spirit monk. Now, we're going to be fighting, coming up, we're going to be fighting... Um, We're going to be fighting humans, fighting people, not ghosts. So I recommend equipping this gem to maximize your experience. Also, in case you're wondering, in case you're wondering, coming up when we talk, you saw Dawn Star standing outside the tent with a uh, speech pattern over her head. Well. Ryan Dedicate the Masson, the water source, performs a ritual from the Tome of Release. You start the mental preparation for the ritual to release the spirits of the cursed Imperial Guards and allow them to find peace. Complete the ritual. As you focus the magic inherent to the spirit monks upon the shrine, you feel your senses expand. You feel the relief of the Imperial soldiers all across Dirge. Feeling slightly drained, you release the chi you were channeling, confident that the soldiers have found peace. The Turning Wheel. This is what you get if you perform it here. Plus 7 to focus, plus 7 to chi. The last remnants of the Emperor's cursed army have dispersed from dirge, and yet you still hear whispers of thanks on the winds. Far from a distraction, they serve as a reminder of the task ahead, and make it all the easier to steal, to steal your, wheel. <laughs> your will. Man, that is hard to say. But yeah. And you get open palm points for that. But, uh, but yeah, as you may have noticed, Dawnstar was standing outside of, of a tent with a speech marker over her head. Depending on who you romance, that would either be Dawnstar, Leanne, or Sky. Just giving you that heads up right now.
that's just me personally. Well, not me personally, but yeah, it's getting a heads up right now. So, the upcoming scene will be the culmination of your, well, romance choices. So, let's speak with Dawnstar. You look so peaceful, even though I know that what you've been through must have been terrible. It is peaceful here. Yes, it is, isn't it? I wonder, does it matter? Could the approaching soldiers match the damage already done to my world? I'm so confused. About Master Li, about what Zhu did, about you. Nothing has changed. You are who you are. I wish I could believe that. I feel like everything I have known is a lie. Strangely, I feel the worst about Sagacious Zhu. He was charged with a horrible task and fought everything he was to save me. Only you experienced that side of him. It seems like we've lost things we didn't even know we had. I don't want that to happen again, whatever happens, no matter how Master Lee reacts. I need something stable in my life. I couldn't bear to lose you again. Not after all of this. Anywhere I go, Dawnstar, you'll be by my side. I knew you would say that. I yearn for it. I worry so much about what tomorrow may bring, and... and... Yeah. Nice words of wisdom here, my dude. It is all right to be scared. Only fools risk what they love with no concern. What they love, what they must not lose. Whatever tomorrow may bring, we will always have tonight.